it was disappointing. It was disheartening. Uh, a little bit of shock, like, oh my gosh, this is actually happening. Carlton Tills was one of many businesses that were forced to close their doors due to flooding. The 21st, we started water coming up through our uh, drains in our bathroom and it kept getting worse. And then the manhole covers started popping off and we knew we were in trouble. The flooring and walls of the building were unsalvageable, but the business was quick to react to the damage. They got from, uh, from dirty to basically able to drywall in about six and a half days, which was pretty impressive. While doors are closed, staff is on furlough, but co-owner Dr. Matt Down said he hopes to welcome as many back as possible when Carlson Tilsch reopens. We miss our patients, we miss our team, you know, but I think we're gonna come through this uh, better than ever. Closing temporarily was a hard hit, but it also brought forth an opportunity for Carlson and Tilsch that was supposed to happen next year. We're also gonna actually do a remodel uh, on the other other part of the, the building to make it uh, bigger and better, hopefully, going forward. The remodel will expand the main room, add three more exam rooms, and include the hiring of additional staff. We're growing. We're growing with Mankato. Uh, the community has been great. It's been great to have patients come and, and see what's going on. If all goes according to plan, Carlson and Tillich will do a partial reopen at one third capacity July 15th at normal business hours. In Mankato, Kendall Larson, KYC News Now.